novels are novels of character. Oh, hi people, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpata Karva and in this video, I'm going to talk about five important Victorian novelists and I'll take you through their main works and also share some lesser known facts about them. It would be highly unfair on my part if I start the discussion on Victorian writers without first talking about Mr. Charles Dickens. So Charles Dickens is famously known for so many works. David Copperfield is one such work. This work, David Copperfield, is based on his personal experience and therefore it's semi-autobiographical. Also, he himself has written for David Copperfield that no one can tell the agony of my soul. But what is important to know here is that not only David Copperfield, but he is remembered for so many other important works like Tale of Two Cities, which talks about the industrialization which was there in Victorian era and the story revolves around the two cities, London and Paris. We also have Oliver Twist, which is my personal favorite. And this particular novel is beautiful in its portrayal of warehouses, in its portrayal of boarding school. And the title of Oliver Twist also has a subtitle, which is called Parish Boys Progress. Now you can very well connect this to Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. So you can see how Charles Dickens' Parish Boy Progress alludes to Pilgrim Progress. But what we don't know sometimes is that Charles Dickens also wrote under a pen name and the pen name was Boz, B-O-Z, Boz. The next important Victorian writer that we are going to talk about is Mr. Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy has written this beautiful line which is my personal favorite and the line is, happiness is but an occasional episode in the general drama of pain. Such a beautiful line that we all are in this drama of pain and in this drama there are few moments when we feel happy and that is how happiness is but an occasional episode in the general drama of pain. This line has been taken from Thomas Hardy's most famous work Mayor of the Castor Bridge. What is important to know about Mr. Hardy is that he had this fascination towards Shakespeare because when we look at Tess of the Durbervilles, we find that in Tess there's this line which comes again and again and the line is as flies are to wanton boys are we to gods they kill us for their sport and this line has been taken from William Shakespeare's play similarly Thomas Hardy has written his first work which is Under the Greenwood Tree and Under the Greenwood Tree the title itself has been taken from Shakespeare's As You Like It. So do remember the connection of Thomas Hardy with Mr. William Shakespeare and also don't forget that Hardy is well known for Wessex novel because all his novels are set in the fictional town of Wessex. Hey, why am I just talking about the male writers? Where are the female writers of Victorian era? Don't worry, the next writer that I would speak about is the female writer because I believe in equality and I would give the female writers their share of respect. So we have George Eliot who wrote under the pen name of George Eliot, her real name was Mary Ann Evan and she has famously written this beautiful statement once that I don't deny that women are foolish. Almighty God has made them to match men. I really wonder if you understood the sarcasm in this statement. She's saying that men are foolish and that is why God has made women also foolish so that we can match the standard of the masculine world. So that is how George Eliot portrayed the masculine community. What she is remembered for is her most famous autobiographical work that is Mill on the Floss. Mill on the Floss is a beautiful story which talks about Tom Tulliver and Maggie Tulliver who are siblings. Queen Victoria, she was so impressed by George Eliot's work that one day she was reading Adam Bede and she was so greatly influenced that she said that I would like to have paintings from two scenes of Adam Bede. So do remember that George Eliot has also written another classic novel which is Adam Bede. She has also written Middle March if you don't know. The subtitle of the Middle March is really important and I would like you to search for the subtitle and put that in the comment section below so that I can see how well prepared you are. 
We just don't have George Eliot, we also have another important female Victorian writer whose name is Elizabeth Gaskell. Elizabeth Gaskell is regarded as one of the most important Victorian writers because she talked about the industrial life, she also talked about the condition of the working class of Victorian people. So if you look at the novels of Elizabeth Gaskell, you'll find that all the novel talks about the Victorian culture, talks about the industrialization and one such novel is Mary Burton. Mary Burton is her first novel and this is the reason why you should remember it uh, for the net exam because they mostly ask the first and last novels of prominent writers. Apart from Mary Burton, she has also written North and South. North and South is a novel which talks about the two parts of England, North and South and the main protagonist is Margaret Hale. This particular novel, North and South, is regarded as Victorian much or do about nothing. I think you remember that Shakespeare has written a play, Much or do about nothing, and this novel of Mrs. Gaskell is known as Victorian much or do about nothing. She has not only written novels talking about the current condition of England, but she also has written a historic novel which is called Sylvia's Lover. Sylvia's no Lover is a moralistic love story which talks about the domestic life of people. But what I love Mrs. Gaskell for is that she has written a biography of my favorite writer who is Charlotte Bronte. So on the request of Charlotte Bronte's father, Mrs. Gaskell has written a biography which is called Life of Charlotte Bronte. So do remember this quick fact before we move to the next writer. So we have come to the last section of this video in which I'm going to talk about the last Victorian writer who is William Macpeace Thackeray. William Macpeace Thackeray has written this wonderful work which is called Vanity Fair and the subtitle is Novel Without a Hero. So from the subtitle itself it is visible that the story revolves around a female protagonist and the name of the female protagonist is Becky Sharp. What is important about Mr. William Macpeace Thackeray is that just like Mrs. Elizabeth Gaskell, even he wrote a historic novel. And the name of the novel was History of Henry Esmond. The novel revolves around the life and times of Queen Anne and it talks about those historic events which happened during the reign of Queen Anne. Apart from that, a funny thing about Mr. Thackeray is that he has written a funny book called Book of Snobs. We all come across so many snobs in our day-to-day -day life and he has portrayed these snobs beautifully saying that snobs are people who meanly admire mean things. So that was William Macpeace Thackeray and with that note I end my discussion on Victorian novelists. So that was for this video lecture. I hope you like this video. If you like that, then do give it a big fan thumbs up and you can put in the comment section what all questions and queries you have. Apart from that, you can follow me on the social media platforms. I'm running this free GoNet quiz exclusively for English literature aspirants. You can also go to my website arpitakarva.com in which you'll find a list of important writers that you must study for UGC Net English Literature. I'm also running a online mock test series for my registered students. So you can even check that out on the website. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you leave because it's free. So we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.